This is a pretty small park, dubbed a pocket park, meant to beautify this corner of downtown Excelsior Springs. But despite its size, it's making a big impact. I'm just excited to have completed a beautiful project. Lindsay Baxter is the director of the downtown partnership that helped lead this project. But to her, this park means so much more because it bears the name of her sister. We lost her in July of 2007. This is the Brooke Baxter Pocket Park. Brooke was just 16 years old when her car was swept away by rising floodwaters at a low water crossing on Williams Creek. She was a phenomenal softball player. That fact evident in the months after Brooke's death. Give it up for number eight. When her high school number eight was retired by her coach and given to her family and big sister. I'm very honored for people to do this and it means so much to find out that so many people did care about Brooke. Lindsay feels the same now as she did then. Overwhelmed and grateful that her sister's memory is as alive today as it was 12 years ago. She died at a really young age and wasn't able to, you know, live a full life. So knowing that we as a group can keep her memory alive, just it means the world to me. Small park, big impact here in Excelsior Springs. Brooks Pocket Park is open to the public right now. There is a celebration plan tonight between 5 and 6 at the park on the corner of Thompson and Concourse Avenues. Now, even though this is a public park, it will always, always be a very special place for the Baxter family. Reporting live in Excelsior Springs this morning, Matt Evans, KBC 9 News.